Всем привет, дорогие друзья! Glad to be back here in this painting, Portrait of Eva. So today I'll be working on this painting here. This is completely dry. I took a picture on Facebook last week and people said that it's beautiful already. I could leave it as is. Thank you guys. However, <laughs> there are so many problems I want to address. And we want to take this painting to the next level. So the first thing I notice is that the skin tone is not being consistent. This is pink and here it's brownish yellow. The neck doesn't look smooth and I also notice the jawline needs some fixing. The dark isn't dark enough, obviously this is just one thin layer of paint, so that would be glazing. As for the background, I really want to make it more pink, you know, girl's color. So there is that, and not to mention the lack of details on the hair. So already you can see this is far from perfect, but stuck so far. And let me fix the skin tone first for now, and perhaps the jawline as well, and we'll see how it goes. So this is my palette guys. I use only 5 colors, with only these colors, I can mix almost anything really. Usually this limited palette fails when I'm painting like a landscape. I can't really mix strong green for trees, for example, or blue turquoise for seascape. But for portraiture, I can mix anything, from skin tone, hair, blonde, brunette, it never fails me. In this second layer stage, I apply my paints exactly the same way as the other painting. That means I apply my paints thinly. The only difference is that I'm not using mineral spirit anymore. Instead, I use linseed oil, just barely, to make the paints buttery so I can spread it on my canvas, especially my titanium white, which is super hard when it comes out straight from the tube. And as you will see, I'm not covering up all of the surface, I only fix some of the problematic areas. That means some of the underpainting will show through, but because I blend the layers seamlessly, it's really hard to tell which is which, so the layers kinda blend together nicely.
skin tone check. So as you can see, the face looks better now. It's brighter. She looks happier. And the ears finally look like ears. The neck has the same color as the face. I also strengthen the shadow here. Nice separation between the neck and the face. The jaw looks clean as well. Big, big improvements already. Just like that. So next, I'll be working on her jacket and this pink hood. As you can see, the jacket looks much better now, the hood looks cleaner as well. So before I can paint the hair, I actually need to fix the background first. So if you can imagine, this is the background and the hair sits in front of the background. This is crucial, especially in this area here, where there will be these flyaway hairs. If I just paint the flyaway hairs now, without fixing the background color, I'd need to fill in the gap between the hairs with background color and that would be horrendous. So working with many layers also means you need to be strategic. Which one you need to do first, which one softer, which part is wet on wet, which part is wet on dry. So once the background is completed, I'm gonna wait for it to dry before painting the hair. This way, the hair will not blend with the background paint. This will make the hair look crisp. If later I decide to blend the hair edges with the background, then I'll just simply repaint the background just a little bit so I can blend it again. Okay, 
so the background is looking nice and solid there is a hint of subtraction going on there some almost lost stages over here so there is one thing left to do which is the heck which i will do once everything is dry and that's for the next video so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have give it a thumbs up leave your comments below and i'll see you guys very soon